Rod, I'm gonna call you out. Where's that love for teriyaki chicken? Rod, what about teriyaki chicken? Ooh, or buffalo chicken. Where's the love for buffalo chicken? Yum, 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 buffalo chicken. Oh, wait, wasn't there a... There was a knights were guarding a door in here, too. Oh, my goodness, I can really go for some barbecue chicken right now. Or buffalo, or buffalo chicken. Oh, like a good buffalo. Have you ever had buffalo chicken pizza? Barbecue buffalo chicken pizza with pineapple. It's good stuff. It's pretty good stuff. Um, you know what? We might as well pick up these items. Fried sweet and sour garlic parmesan chicken wings are so many choices. And that's just a wing stock. I have it, but it sounds like something I'd have. It's, it's pretty gosh darn good. It's pretty gosh darn good. I highly recommend buffalo chicken pizza with a barbecue sauce base instead of um, tomato. And then, um, if you like, because it gives you the sweet and sour taste, the um, get some ba 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 um, pineapple on it as well. Some people also like to put green pepper on that. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, that's fine, but I'd pass. Well, that's what I was saying, Renixi. I mean, you could do... You could do pineapple if you want. But, well, I guess, Star, I, I guess, the Renixi, the question is... Do you even like pineapple? Because if you don't like pineapple, well, that's understandable why you don't like that. Nice star. You say that, but that just means you haven't had the right type of pizza with pineapple on it. Like I said, I mean, I don't, I mean, I like pineapple on most pizzas. Dang it, these guys are still alive. All right, Billy. No, 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 Billy. We're going to do this. We're going to do this right. We're going to do this right. I've had it with Canadian bacon. Now, Canadian bacon is the traditional pairing that I grew up having. But once, um, I guess, like, once more pizzerias just decided to experiment with it, or they made it that you could just pick whatever toppings you want for your pizzas, uh, like Papa John's does this primarily if you order off of their website, it just lets you choose what, whatever you want to have on your pizza. That's what my family started getting a little bit more experimental. Okay, uh, Rebecca, I want you to... Uh, I am not wasting a shotgun shell on that guy. I had already shot him once. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, Papa John's allows you to experiment and just put whatever you want on your pizza. They don't care. And what I particularly like is, okay, I'm totally going to shill for Papa John's right now. If you go and order a pizza off of PapaJohns.com, it will say like, hey, you can get a one topping pizza for like eight bucks or something like that if it's a carryout special, blah, 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 blah. But what you can do is you can actually, when you go into the topping selections, you can go, hey, what do you want on your pizza? And you're like, oh, I want pepperoni. All right, now do you want this on half of the pizza or do you want this on the all the pizza? Well, if you do half of the pizza, you can select another topping, say sausage, and put that on the other half of the top, on the other half of the pizza, and it still counts as one topping pizza. Because technically you only have one topping on either side of the pizza. So it's a little thing, I'm sure they know exactly what they're doing, but it's a little thing Papa John's does, uh, which makes it which makes it a better value if you want to get a two-topping pizza, but you only want to pay for one topping. Again, just totally shilling for Papa John's right now. Uh, didn't I have more ink ribbons than this, or... Oh, I think it's because Rebecca has the other ink ribbons. So, the reason why I bring that up is because if you want to experiment with pizzas, like maybe you've never had... Canadian bacon with pepperoni, but you're like, I don't know if I'll like that. Well, you can do a half and half pizza. So that way you can like take a bite of the Canadian bacon pizza, take a bite of the uh, pineapple pizza. The flavor kind of gets mixed together for you. But if you don't like it, well, then you've kind of only wasted one half of the pizza, not a full pizza. 
Let's see. Um, I hate pineapple and peaches. I will not touch it in any shape or form. Oh my goodness. Renixie, you are missing out. Not just on pineapple, but also peaches. I mean, Renixie, you've been here when I've gone off the rails about the delicious boxes of Georgia fresh peaches that I had like a month ago that were just picked from the farm the previous day, and they were some of the best peaches I've ever had in my life. I actually ate pesto chicken today with pasta. Uh, fair enough, I myself love pineapple, pineapple by myself, but everyone has their own opinions and dislikes. Now that is a great idea. It is the texture and taste, or just both. Just both. My cat is snoring. Well, that was a weird segue. I want some dragon fruit, but they're expensive. Uh, I would say also, Oh, I had a thought, and then I lost it. Um, 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 what am I trying to say here? What am I trying to say here? I had, I had a response to something. Oh, I know what it was. So this will throw you all for quasi a loop. As much as I'm talking about how much I love pineapple pizza and pizzas in general, blah, blah, blah. The best pizza I ever had, and I wish, I wish I could find some place that could make this for me, is there used to be this Greek restaurant by my house. And they had a lunch special, which was a Greek feta cheese spinach pizza. And I was just like, you know what? I'll, I'll try almost anything once. Let me give this a try. And it was the best pizza I've ever had. Not even like the spinach aspect of it. Like that did taste good, surprisingly, but the feta cheese was so good. I don't know where I can get a pizza that's made with feta cheese, but if I, I hope someday I can discover it because good golly, it was so good. It was so good. It kind of reminds me of the first time I tried um, goat cheese pizza, not because it turned out to be good, but because that was disgusting. But it was, oh, I'll try, I'll try, like I said, anything once. Just kidding. It wasn't disgusting. It just wasn't very good. I don't recommend goat cheese pizza. Okay, I have a bunch of bullets, and you've got how many shotgun shells? Two. Okay, Billy, you're going back to the knife. And I'm taking control of Rebecca. Uh, Nixie likes bananas and strawberries. Bananas and strawberries are good. Who, who, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, my mom tells me that I always spit out baby food peaches when she tried to feed it to me, so it has been a lifelong hatred. Uh, peaches with some brown sugar, then boiled, or peach cobbler. Oh, peach cobbler is so good. Oh my good, peach cobbler is so good. Or just peaches like on vanilla ice cream. And, oh, peaches are really good. Um... Spinach and goat cheese pizza is good. I love goat cheese on the pizza. Can only find it at Target, though. Goat cheese? Well, I'm sure there's other places you can find it. Okay. You're gonna like this. And then there's gonna be these two zombies in here. Yes. All right, Rebecca, you're up. Okay. Yeah, actually, why are bananas iffy except when gooey? I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna go out and say I really love a stiff banana. Darn it. Okay. Okay, dude, 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 Billy, Billy, Billy! Billy, Billy! Oh, shoot. Oh, gosh, darn it. Rebecca ain't doing well. Rebecca ain't doing well at all. Okay, we're going back to Billy. Oh, shoot.
Let's split up. Okay. I'm sick of looking at you. I'm just kidding, Rebecca. I would never get sick of looking at you. Uh-huh. Use? No, I guess I can only take it and then examine it. Examine. Da, 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 da. Open. Open the book. Okay. This way. Okay. And can I take this candle? The following cabinet is this right. I want the candle. Give me the candle. No. Uh, I have looked elsewhere, Whole Foods, Central Market, Heb, Walmart. Well, I'm not shocked you wouldn't find a Walmart. I will eat a banana or non-cooked banana pudding, but that is it. No banana bread or flavored anything. You don't like banana bread? This is shock. This is great shock upon my face right now. Banana bread is amazing. Especially with walnuts in it. Oh. I'm really hungry. I think I'm just I'm really alone. I think okay. I, I think I'm just really this way. Okay. I think I'm just really really hungry right now. That's that's what this is. Uh Oh yeah, the green herbs. Um Um Okay, before I Before I try that one room, that, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, what am I trying to say here? That has the, um, the poison in it, I am going to go back to the room that had the giant centipede in it because that centipede room had a locked off door. And I don't know, well, actually, first let me combine this so it's not in my inventory anymore. Uh, right. Yes. Combine. Use. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Uh, it's... I'm a weirdo when it comes to fruits. I don't eat cooked fruit. The texture throws me off. Really? So like you don't like apple cobbler or um, uh, peach cobbler or uh, like you won't eat like shish kebab or anything like that, like barbecued pineapple or anything like that. Oh my goodness, my mouth is watering just talking about all this. So good, so good. It all sounds so delicious. Okay, I'm actually taking a drink because my mouth's watering. Mm. Mm. Uh. Let's uh, let's save real quick. Banana bread. Banana bread sounds really good right now. It sounds really good. Saving as Rebecca. Oh, stretch? I can stretch. Yeah, okay. Get. Uh, boy. Boy. Okay. There we are. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. And saving. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Then we ditch all the ink ribbon. Okay, um, I think it's up there on the right. I don't know. This was it, right? This takes me to the centipede room? I don't remember, I don't recall. Um. Um. Shoot! Don't shoot! 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 There, 
everywhere. They're everywhere. No, 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 no. to appreciate a blackberry cobbler oh, in the last couple of years only because my husband loves it i still refuse to make him a peach cobbler though black bar blackberry cobbler also sounds really really good i could uh, you know what i could just go for cobbler right now i don't think there's any fruit that i dislike it's all good what is this there's a message card on the control panel the three fundamental principles of the umbrella corporation yeah it's unity strength and no free will or something i don't remember The door is locked, but that doesn't seem to be a key anywhere. Dag nab it. Ah, crap. I gotta run through the bugs again. Alright, well. Oh, they're everywhere, they're everywhere, they're everywhere. Go, 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 go,
on the other side of that rook. The how do I? Okay, do I? Okay, and then I. Oh wait, I'm trying to. Oh, yeah, it. Okay, wait. No, dang, damn it! Stupid camera. Stu okay, there. Okay. And a little bit more. A little bit more. There. And then we get on this side. And then... Billy, why are you making a wounded little girl do all of this? Oh my goodness, you're such a jerk. Billy, get out of the way, Billy. Okay. Oh. Well, I found the Necronomicon. That's good, I guess. Ah, huh, look at that. The Book of Evil. Well, let's see what's inside. Oh my goodness, all it is is the lyrics to a bunch of Lizzo songs. Marcus Diary number one. Uh, December 4th. We finally did it. The new virus. We call, we have called it the progenitor. I want to carry it back and start detailed investigations immediately. March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care as long as I can continue my research into pro progenitor. Uh, he can do what he likes. August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of this of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, but he's become intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this to my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore all of this virus's secrets. A place where no one will get in the way. November 30th. Darn that Spencer. He came to complain to me again today. He thinks of Progenator as nothing more than a money-spinning tool. Fool. But if his influence continues to grow, it can only be bad for it can only be bad for my research if i'm to properly develop progenitor i must strengthen my own position too september 19th at last i've discovered a way to build a new virus type with progenitor as a base mixing it with leech dna was the breakthrough i needed i called this new virus t for tyrant uh, october 23rd it's no good i can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents only humans can be a proper ma mammalian subject for the experiments otherwise i'll never make any real progress November 15th. Someone seems to suspect something about my experiments, but perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. January 13th. Oh my word, this guy does ramble on and on. At last, they are ready. My wonderful leeches. Those of low intelligence, they will never have the privilege of tasting the sense of joy and satisfaction. Now, finally, I can move against Spencer. Soon, I will control everything. January 31st. Ma, the devices I set to protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. Fool, no doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th. Today I, gain, I again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. Hmm. Uh, if that is what they're after, I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke out the pest. Those two are the only ones I trust, apart from my beloved leeches, of course. Do you have names for your leeches? But Spencer... It wouldn't end there, would it? I will announce T at the next director's meeting and collect my just rewards. Okay. Did did I did I get the book? Okay, I did. Examine. Open the book. Ooh, cool. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yummy. Okay, so we can get poison. What else? Uh, I only got to Leon being injected with the last Plagueis thing in RE4. I feel like it could have done better in the beginning, though. Leech, leechy, leech, leechy, leechy, leechu. Leecheroni, leechamon, leech, leech, uh, leechel, uh, leech, ondel. I'm, I'm trying to name them after Pokemon. Uh, leechaku, uh, leechusan, leechu, uh, leechuab. Uh, Lichu Eichel, Lichu Eichel, Lich Gen, Lichifer, um, I'm sure I can workshop some more. Rebecca, Le Leech, oh no, I won't sully Rebecca's name by putting Leech in the middle of it. No, 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 no. Bill Leecholi. Okay, remove the statue, uh, yeah. Yes, and then combine, combine, cool, 
Now it almost looks like Chernabog from Nine on Bald Mountain. Yay! Oh, I should have seen that one coming. Is there gonna... Is there gonna be health down there? Leechifer, the devil of leeches. That's not bad. That's not bad, Rod. I approve of that one. Okay, let's, um... Let's save, because I feel like I'm gonna have to deal with some shenanigans here. I'm gonna love it down there. Oh, you don't say. You don't say, Mal. Is it because of all the bugs that are gonna be down there? I am going down into a sewer, so I imagine there's gonna be a lot of bugs. <laughs> Not quite. Yay! Yay! Well. Got, let's see what it's got in store for me. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Well, Dante's Inferno, here I come. Okay. First, we go to the first level. Spiders! 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 Bill, you're going to be taking the lead on this one. Resident Evil Zero. Good thing I saved. Good thing I saved. <sighs> Lousy spiders. Billy. You're so big and stupid, why can't you just, like, use your head to squash them? Alright, um, oh, Billy, you don't need... <clears throat> you don't need to bring this along. <laughs> oh, golly. Got some bad air there. Um, leave. And... Darn it, I screwed that up. Um... Okay, and then Billy, I want exchange. G give me, give me the gun. Give me the bull. Give me the bullets. All of them. Actually, wait. Isn't there another pistol out there? There is. Where's the other pistol? That's the shotgun. It's not on the first floor. Okay, second floor. I can get that. I think. Okay, Billy, you're taking you're taking the lead here. And I just gave you a pistol. Why are you not why do you not have it equipped? What the? Oh, uh, I was fixing it, lol. I had to think of a new format. I couldn't remember better. Oh, you had to think of a new format because Brock keeps on dying. He died so much, you had to come up with a new format. Yeah, I get it. I understand. Ah, oh, stupid cockroaches. <laughs> 